how to use your computer or laptop without a mouse. Yes, you heard that right. We explore how to use your keyboard as a mouse, which can be incredibly useful in many situations. Whether you're using a new situation where your mouse isn't working, okay, your mouse isn't working, or you simply want to try something new, <laughs> knowing how to control your computer or keyboard can be a game changer. So it's very useful information that you guys will learn today here. To start, we'll walk through some of the basics and then we'll get into the more advanced features, okay? We are going to use a built-in built into the most operating operation systems offer, so no extra downloads or software required, okay? So let's begin with the basics. If you are using Windows 10 or 11, one of the easiest ways to use your keyboard as a mouse is through the mouse key feature. So this tool allows you to control the mouse pointing using the numeric key mode, this part right here, the, the, the numeric keypad on your keyboard. It's incredibly simple to use and I will show you how to do it exactly, okay? So first of all, we need to enable the mouse keys. So to do this, we are going to press Windows key. This button right here, okay, the Windows key. And right here, guys, we are going to type Control Panel, okay? You can see it right here, Control Panel. We are going to use the mouse to click on it. Or you just, if you don't have the mouse, guys, you just use the keyboard, right control panel and just press enter but let's suppose you have the mouse you get a, 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 a friend's mouse just to enable this thing and you, then you're going to pass the mouse to him again and you <laughs> go back to have no mouse to use so this option right here once you're in control panel navigate to the ease of access okay right here and here guys you are going to click on change how your mouse works you find the option called turn on mouse keys just check the box next to it and click and apply and then okay you can now actually go in the same place again go on set up mouse keys make sure this option is turned on okay here you can adjust the top speed and acceleration you can go on high on low i'm going to put in the, in the same one and right here we are going to click apply and then okay now that the mouse key is enabled, you can control your mouse pointer using the numeric keypad. If you are using a laptop and don't have the numeric keypad, don't worry. There's a, there is a way around it and we are get to that shortly. So let's talk about the mouse keys actually work. Once activated, the, numer the, the numeric keyboard can move the cursor around your screen. The two, four and six and eight keys on the numeric keyboard you move the pointer up, down, left, and right. The 5 key will act as a mouse click, and the plus key will act as a double click. So you can also use the 0 key to press the enter key, which is very useful when you are navigating through links and menus. Once you got the mouse key set up, you can start navigating your computer without needing to use your mouse. But what if you don't have, no, uh, have a numeric keyboard? and make a keypad like I was saying. So don't worry, there are options for that too. For laptops, many systems allow you to enable the on-screen keyboard. So this is a virtual keyboard that, apply, that appears on a screen and it can be controlled by your mouse or touchpad. Some operation systems can even let you use the arrow keys on your keyboard, on a regular keyboard to control the on-screen keyboard, which turns control the mouse because you activated this option right here. So to activate this option, you go on menu in this in the keyboard right here, and you're going to write on screen. 
and right here it's showing up turn on the on screen cable on off on and off so right here in this option you're going to allow it and then it will show so if you're going to type so you can use this option right here to use as a keyboard and then move your mouse now let's try to use the option till we just activate it okay as you can see i'm using the the keyboard right here the keypad numeric keypad is adjust the camera and as you can see i'm going to try to go back right here just for you guys to see it's moving the the button right here very slowly but it's moving moving the button how can we adjust that so we are going on windows again we are going to write the condo panel go on ease of access then change how your mouse works and right here we are going to set up mouse keys here you can adjust the speed like we see we are going to put a little bit of fast apply and okay and then try to ha it's more faster right now it's faster than it was so four button the 4k move to the left the 6k move to the right the 8k move up the 2k move down and the 5k when you press two times it will click the click button that one okay let's put on some place just for you guys to see in this past this folder right here so we can click two times the five and it will open or you just can click one time the zero and you will do the same So using your keyboard as a mouse is also a fantastic way to troubleshoot when your mouse stops working or if you are in a situation where you don't have access to one. So with a, just a little bit of practice, you'll be able to navigate your computer seamlessly using only your keyboard. So there you have it, now you know how to use your computer and turn a mouse. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more tips and tricks. See you in the next video and bye bye.